I'm in Worcester. Uh, as you can see, Worcester Cathedral is uh, right behind me. Uh, I'm down on the river. As moorings go, you can see that this really isn't too shabby at all, is it? Very nice indeed, in fact. It's fairly quiet. Lots to see. Yeah, it's great. Okay, something a bit different from me this time, just to keep you on your toes. We'll take a tour of Worcester from the River Severn, take in a wee bit of history, and then have a look around one of Britain's oldest cities.
On the 3rd of September, 1651, these fields bore witness to the last and definitive battle in the English Civil War. Charles II was encamped in Worcester, having marched from Scotland with 16,000 royalists. He was recruiting in Worcester and Gloucester and preparing to march on London to regain the throne. Oliver Cromwell was approaching from the south and the east with a new model army of 28,000 men. The majority of Cromwell's new model army approached from the east side of the River Severn. There was another detachment coming up on the west side which were to attack on Powick Bridge. However, there weren't really enough men there. So Cromwell was left with the problem of how to get enough troops across the River Severn. More or less in exactly this same place, he built a pontoon bridge with boats across the river. He also did this on the River Team below us to the left, so that another detachment could then outflank the Royalists who were defending the Powett Bridge. More troops and cavalry who were left on the east side of the River Severn fought their way into the city of Worcester. Huge battles took place in the narrow streets and eventually the Royalists were overcome. Charles II watched the proceedings from the top of the tower in Worcester Cathedral. When defeat was inevitable, he removed his armour and made his escape. Along this footpath, 615 miles to Shoreham on the south coast, where he fled to France. The city of Worcester is one of the oldest in the country. There was a settlement here around 700 BC. This is where Charles II stayed prior to the battle. And the commandery adjacent to the canal stands on the site of an 11th century hospital. The Tudor building was used as the Royalist headquarters before the Battle of Worcester. Edgar Tower was built in the 14th century, but restored in the 19th century. Much of the city of Worcester was destroyed by fire in 1202, including the gatehouse. King John ordered the Sheriff of Worcester to rebuild the gatehouse, and the gates are still mostly original. The cathedral dates back to 680 and was superseded in the 11th century. King John, he of Robin Hood fame, is buried in the crypt. Much of the exterior though is Victorian. College Yard boasts some really fine Georgian architecture. The present day Guildhall on the High Street is in Queen Anne style and was completed in 1723. Thanks for watching. Normal service will be resumed next time with a cruise on the Worcester and Birmingham Canal.